Vocal samples can be a problem if you don't use them in the right way. And in today's video, I'm going to show you not only how you can use vocal samples without getting in trouble, but also where you can find the best samples in the market as well. But before I begin, let me know over here in the comments below how you use your vocal samples and where do you get them so we can share with all the community. But now let's get started with this tutorial and let's get started with the video. Let's go. Vocal songs are normally more memorable than instrumental songs, and that is because the vocal makes the song a bit more singable, which essentially makes it more memorable. However, getting original vocals can sometimes be expensive. So what some producers are doing is getting vocal sample packs and using in their tracks to get a little bit of that vocal feeling in their songs. However, it can be an issue when you're using a vocal from a sample pack since a lot of producers are using the same samples. For example, listen to this song over here by Shane Codd called Get Out of My Head with around 100 120 million plays on Spotify as you can listen over here. You hold me close, tell me that you can read my mind. How do you get to know? Now listen to the sample by 91 vocals pack called Femme Fatale. You hold me close, tell me that you can read my mind. How do you get to know? Now, can you imagine yourself releasing a song with this vocal? If you use this vocal, first, some streaming platforms can say that you're infringing copyright of Shane Codd's songs, which technically you're not because you're just using the same sample. And second, some people can end up saying that you stole the vocal from Shane Codd's songs, which is not something good for your artist's image as well. So how can you properly use vocals without getting caught and also without impacting your artist's image as well? So my favorite way to use vocal samples is just pick the original sample and just chopping the initial bits of it or words that you like and including in your song. And I've done this multiple times in my songs as you can listen in the song called Looking At Me. The name of the song comes from a sample that I've picked from 91 vocals as well, but I chopped it and processed it to make it something different. And you can see some other bigger artists already covered in this channel doing the same thing as you can listen in the song by Yoro. The whole song is based on this one phrase, I just can't get over you, and it's repeated and processed in multiple ways. And you can see some other artists like Marsh doing the same thing in their songs as well. So you technically don't need full lyrics to make your song a bit more vocal, as you've just listened before. Sometimes you can just pick a phrase and repeat it and process it in different ways along the song. But how can you do this? We're gonna pick the vocal that I use for looking at me and its entirety as you can listen over here. Are you looking at me? Cause I'm looking at you, it's easy to see what's happening. And I'm gonna chop only the parts that I want from it. Are you looking at me? Then I'm gonna put this part in key with the song. Are you looking at me? And I'm also going to apply some form and shifting to make the vocal sound deeper, as you can listen over here. Are you looking at me? Or you can go even deeper. Are you looking at me? But I'm gonna stay with what I had, and then I'm gonna apply some effects to make the vocal sound a bit wetter. Are you looking at me? And voila! Now you have a vocal that sounds a bit more original, and also the processing is really nice, and you can use it in your own songs. However, if you struggle with the processing of these vocals, let me know over here in the comments below, and we can definitely make a video on how you can properly process vocals for your songs as well. Now, the second thing that you can do with vocal samples is essentially chop them and actually make a vocal chop loop with them to create something original out of it. You can see this being used in the song called Do No More by Nora Impure, as you can listen over here. You can actually hear some vocal phrases in the song as well, but the vocal chop loop is what the song is mainly about. And to be honest, it's something really creative to do with your own songs. But how can you do this in your own songs? Well, essentially the first thing that you're gonna do is pick a vocal sample loop that you like, as this one over here. And you're gonna start chopping this and picking part that you like to later build your own vocal chop loop out of this full sample. But Ableton has a really cool feature that you can essentially slice this sample in into a MIDI track, and after that, you can essentially just play this as a piano, as you can listen over here. You can see that essentially Ableton chopped the vocal into multiple pieces, and then you can build your own sample, as I've done over here in this sample over here. And then, of course, you can apply some processing to it afterwards to make it a bit more cool to listen to. Yeah. 
and voila, you have something creative that you made out of a vocal loop that you can now use in your own song as well. But what else can you do with vocal samples in your own song? Another really cool and unique way to completely change your vocal is actually by applying a lot of different and weird effects into it and change it into something that it wasn't before. Again, it can be based on simply one phrase and still be completely different from the original. Listen, for example, to this song by Data Life called Freaks Have More Fun. Now we are one. Now listen to what this guy called Jayco did in his remix of this song. A vocal that was static and repetitive now is following a completely different melody and has a completely different taste to it and that's something really creative to do in your own songs as well. But how can you do this? Essentially, if we go over here in Ableton, we're gonna have the original vocal from the song. Right now we are one. Cause freaks have more fun. Right now we are one. Cause and we're gonna apply some vocoding to it to essentially guide it through the melody that we wrote. We have this melody over here. And we're gonna use this vocoder, as you can see it over here, to essentially guide this vocal into being what Jayco did. We also applied some flanger over here, as you can listen, and this is how it sounds like. Really cool and really unique, right? But again, if you only want to change the vocal subtly, you can always use some little Alter Boy or M Auto Pitch from Melda, which is free. And essentially, you can just tune it a bit differently, as you can see it over here. Right now, we are one. And also apply a lot of different effects to make it completely different from the original. Lastly, and that's a technique that I use a lot in my own songs, is just pick the vocal sample from a sample pack and use it to guide the melody of your song, and then you can just take it off and delete it. Essentially, you're using the vocal as a placeholder and not as a main element. Listen, for example, to this vocal over here. We fight in the daylight, overnight, we realize. And then you can just pick a piano and just write something on top of that to follow this vocal as you can listen over here. We fight in the daylight, overnight, we realize. We relied Hide away from the sunlight Later on we'll relied Relied and voila, now you have a melody that you can use in any song and you can just delete this vocal. And the good thing about this method is that you can use with any vocal, not only from sample packs, and you can also use a cappellas, for example. Now you know how to use these samples, but where can you find the best sample packs in the market? And that takes us to our next point in this video. My first and preferred way to find vocal samples is using Output Arcade. Arcade is a sample-based VST with a lot of vocal kits and they're all royalty-free, so you can start using them in your own songs. For example, this song that I'm gonna play now Next, I signed to Colorize and it's already using our Put Arcade as you can listen over here. The vocals in this songs are from Output Arcade as you can listen to them over here without any processing. I just wanna take it time. And the good thing is that it's completely different from the original vocal as you can listen over here. And then after applying some processing into it. And essentially that's how we came along with the vocal from the song. Now the cool thing about Arcade is that you can essentially find any kinds of samples that you want and for these vocal for example, you can pick and play this sample as a piano for example. All away. And they have these cool knobs over here that essentially gives the vocal a bit of a different feeling. All away. All away. Or you can use the effects that it has to essentially make the vocal even different. And this is all built in into Arcade. So that, in addition to having a ton of different vocal kits, Arcade is definitely my place to go whenever I'm trying to find vocal samples to use in my own songs. The only thing that I wish is that they had the option to sort by the least used, so this way I can definitely find samples that nobody's using in my own songs as well. But now let's go to our second place there I love finding my vocal samples. The second option that you have is just using Directly's vocal packs that you can get either directly from the company or from Splice or Loop Cloud. And there are a lot of big songs using vocal samples like this one from Cream. Control, like, 
This is a vocal sample from a vocal pack. And my favorite companies whenever I'm trying to find a vocal sample is 91 Vocals, as you've listened in some of my other songs, as you can listen over here. This is from my song called Moving, released on FSOE, and you can listen to the vocal sample over here. Again, I chopped it and applied some processing to it to make it completely on my own. And the second company that I like using is the company called Soundo, as you can see it over here. Essentially, Soundo comes with full lyrics and full vocal samples, so you can start using them in your own songs as well. But remember, the bigger the company, the harder it will be to find something that is truly unique. Now let's go into our third way into how you can find amazing samples for your songs. Instead of using a vocal sample, why not just record your own voice and use it as the vocal of the song? And you can say to me, Leo, but I'm not a good singer. Well, with auto-tune and a lot of processing that you're gonna apply to your vocal, you can later mask it to be imperceptible. For example, remember that song called Lost in You by Marsh as we've listened over here? It's from his own voice and you can see him doing this in this video over here. So the vocal is me. Um... Lost in you but even if you're not a singer, you can record your friends or record some calls and essentially use them in your own songs. And that's something that Fred again is doing a lot as you can listen to the song called Maria. All these things that we took for granted. This is a call from Fred with his friend about the pandemic that he later used in his song. So don't feel that you always need to use vocal samples and make use of your own recordings as well to make your songs more vocal as well. But even when you find the best sample for your song, you're gonna have to mix your song properly. And that's something that if you're struggling with, you can watch these videos over here that teach you how to mix better your songs so you can develop better songs as well. I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you in the next abstract video next week. Ciao!